Why are you brown bagging it? What's in there? The guy at the, uh, at the gas station gave it to me right across the street. This is like... Uh, yeah, this dickhead. Hey, you want a you want beer? You guys want beers? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And then two seconds later, yeah, I didn't get them. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> or what, right when I see you. Wait, you, you That's offered? like a chick's te- chick texting you. I'm on my way. And then she's like, oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. No, my, I, was I on found my period. somebody else. <laughs> no, I texted you and then you, you didn't get back to me in time. And I already uh, bought... I, I was in the liquor store just waiting. Gotcha. And then... I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna pull the trigger. Cause I didn't want to get a whole six pack. Yeah. And then only two people are drinking. Yeah, you don't so want to overdo it. Yeah. No, I've had that yeah. happen before though, where you send a text and you're like, I need a response in the next twelve seconds, and if I don't get it, I can't fucking Exactly. My yeah. problem is like when when that's when I'm in that situation, I'm like, oh, I'll just get a thirty pack. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean it's gonna get drunk at yeah, some point yeah, anyway. Yeah. yeah, this beer will get consumed sometime. You look like you've drank a thirty pack. Is that Dude, uh, that's is, <laughs> like your face is really that's what red? I said. It was bad, yeah. But your speech is very sober, but your face is like But DUI. he's also got he's also got the I've been out all day kind of yeah, talking yeah. like this. Yeah, I've been dude. out all day in the okay. sun. Okay. Yeah. So you've been in the sun. I've been right. in the sun all day. So you didn't yeah. have a thirty pack. No, there was a thirty pack involved. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. What did you were you lugging it around, Fiesta Island? Uh we had a we had a cart. Oh, you had a cart? We had a cart with a cooler. Is it legal to drink over there? I mean, I know everyone's doing it. I was wondering doing the it, same thing because I'm yeah. like, wait, it's illegal everywhere else except for Fiesta. Oh, Island? okay. So that's why that whole shit show is popular over there. Yeah, because oh. they have a pass. They have a free pass on when they do OTL. So, you but it's just for the tournament. Like you couldn't go there on a normal Sunday and drink. Right? No, yeah. I mean, you could, but. Explain to the people what Not OTL legally. is again. Over the line. It's a bunch of old men who are reliving their glory years of high school baseball. Isn't it like cricket meets baseball though? <laughs> Kind of, I guess, yeah. I mean, it's not baseball, technically. No, it's like three-on-three three fucking softball where people are like... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not even into softball or baseball. Three-on-three? Three-on-three, three, yeah. So there's like three people who are stacked up uh, on the defensive side, and then you do like a softball pitch like right next to your teammate, and then that person hits it, and if it goes out of bounds, it's a foul ball. If it goes inbounds and they, and they don't catch it, then it's a hit. And then every three hits, you get a run. That makes me want to drink a fucking 30. Oh, it's a total <laughs> it's a total fucking booze fest. That's all it is. It's just an excuse to drink. That's all it is. And it's a bunch of older, older yeah. guys, right? Like for the most part. Um, so there's it's a uh, well, I mean, I'm not going to, you know, talk too much shit about it because. Nope. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Nope. See, I don't think we should. I don't think. We oh, should get... are we not divulging that? Nah, 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 nah. All right. Nope. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think I don't even know nope. th- No one knows No one knows I uh, bring it up. He introduced him as, or introduced well, him yeah, as yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> So basically it's a shit show out there And everyone just goes to get fucked up And they play fucking Four on two Fucking yeah, Three softball. on three Yeah and there's uh, So they have like crazy fucking team names too Like Apparently uh, ESPN was gonna try to turn it into like some You know uh, Event that they would show on ESPN Whatever yeah, yeah. Uh, but they so they have team names like the one I heard when I was pulling up in the Uber today was uh, was say what you will about pedophiles but at least they drive throw drive slow in school zones. <laughs> <laughs> so people are trying to like one up each other. Yeah, I'm sure and, you hear the the pull out the couch one where yeah, like, no, my yeah. couch pulls out. So your father should have pulled out. Yeah, that's yeah, our yeah. team name. So I, I was gonna I was gonna buy like one of the the programs that has all the team names on the way out. I completely forgot, but it doesn't even matter because like 90 percent of them are really stupid. But some of them are pretty good. Like that year after Kobe uh, Bryant um, allegedly raped a girl in the in the hotel room. Kobe. Uh, somebody. One of the team names was um, was I like my room service Kobe style. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. So, I like it. So it's shit like that. So it's kind of like it's kind of fun. It's vulgar. It's fucking ridiculous. It seems like get- hardcore frat vibe. No, it's more like like 100%. white. Tr- no, it's yeah. not. It's more like white trash, like white trash frat. It's like vibe. you know, <laughs> no, 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 no. you know the guys who are go- who you know the guys who live in PB and have been living in PB for like thirty five years. That's the crowd. Yeah, yeah. But the guys that, who but still not, skate up and down the boardwalk yeah, with the, a thirty the pack. Skaters, not like the frat boys though. It's like the yeah. it's like the weird locals. It's no, not, hold up. They're the guys that ride those bikes with the huge handlebars. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, with, the yeah, beer, yeah, yeah. Exactly. with the beer uh, yeah. holder right there. Yes. Yep. Tan as fuck. Very, yep. yeah. Still wear flat build hats and dicky shorts. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's, definitely, those guys. it's definitely not like the frat boy vibe that you're thinking of. It's my more, buddy my buddy Kyle knows a couple of those guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like the fucking the RVs parked out back. Yeah. <laughs> like that kind of it's, vibe. I was down uh, in Point Loma. This is, a, this is a while ago, but I was down in Point Loma. And uh, I was shooting. I used to be a photographer with Bradley, too. But... 
uh, I was shooting like this uh, couple's, uh, it was a couple I knew, but they were wedding photos. Not their wedding, but what's the engagement photos? Yeah. So we're out there. Anyway, the guy, what, the guy's a Navy SEAL and he's a fucking gorilla. The guy, yeah. the husband, and I know the girl. So uh, it's basically a couple of those guys, the guys we're talking about, you know, they're in a van hanging out with their dog. And the, the wife has her, like, clothes hanging, and the dog runs over and pees on the her clothes. <laughs> They're on the pole, and the guy, the SEAL dude was like, hey, like, c- can you get your dog on the leash? She's like, no, what the fuck are you going to do about it? To that guy? Yeah, yeah. Well, they, I mean, they don't know who he is, you know? They're, like, screaming at the guy. He's like, he's like, bro, what? And they're all older. He's like, I'll fuck all of you up. Oh, you're saying the dudes who were like the PB older dudes? Yeah. Those were the guys that were talking shit to the gorilla. To the gorilla, yeah, yeah. And I'm standing there too, and okay. I'm, I'm ready to hit him. I, these guys are being annoying as fuck. I mean, their dog is out there. Peeing. Wait, you said you're ready to hit him? Yeah, why not? Okay, cool. Hey, I'm not going to let this dude. I'm taking his photos. Cowabunga, That's a good day. dude. I mean, that is, that, is, that is fucked up, though, if your dog goes and pisses on someone's clothing and you're like, fuck you. Literally, My he dog was like, this is where he wants to. He was like, to. fuck off. Like, Okay. That, that's also like total PB local. That's what attitude. I'm saying. Like, They're annoying. Yeah, so yeah. what? Nothing happened. He didn't beat the nah, shit out of anyone. I, I think he realized when you see somebody who has super confidence, like, yeah, no, yeah. I'll fuck you up. I think you're like, all right. You talked about that in the, uh, the last yeah. episode. I don't know. Unless homie, you're a dude. Your homie that slapped his wife. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Unless yeah, you're a guy I'm who's good. five feet tall and fucking gets stepped to in a fucking bagel place. Oh, my God. <laughs> So what what is the story with that? Because I, I saw know. it, but it's the greatest video the ever. The story it's on the internet. There's like no fucking story. I don't know this guy. Like he just lost his shit. He lost his shit. Like, he didn't look that tiny in the video. Uh, <laughs> but then you saw him talking to the reporter, and it's like this chick in heels, and she's like this. So what did he say? <laughs> so <laughs> somebody like, held it somebody, down to him, and a, he's like, you know, I just don't get it. You know, blah, blah, blah. Somebody five had, zero. Somebody had a funny ass meme because it showed a picture of them like like uh, like uh, from the side or whatever. So it was like two of them standing together. And it was like uh, me in third grade trying to tell my teacher that I shit myself. <laughs> yeah, the Keanu Reeves one. Yeah, well, it's kind of like that one. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Um, but uh, but yeah, that dude was fucking like Hobbit short. So he's in a bagel shop, bagel boss, bagel boss, and is that a real thing? It's yeah. de- I can, you can tell like from it. his accent, he's okay. definitely like fucking Long Island or okay. something. And then there, he's in an argument with who? He's a, he was in a, an argument with a person working there, but. The problems where everything came from, it was real deep. Because then he started talking about like dating apps. He's like, yeah. You women think that you could just treat me like yeah. shit, take my money, and then tell me I'm too so, like tiny. He yeah. was ready to go. Like he yeah. was up in dudes' faces. He was like he this. was having a bad day to begin with. Yeah, he's and then been having just, a lot of bad days. And then it just days. got to be a worse day. <laughs> he had a bad life. Yeah. <laughs> Like, but that still doesn't justify you acting like a twat nugget, dude. No. So like what what happened was I, I, apparently is is like. He flipped out on the employee, and then like the people in the that were behind him were like trying to be like, "Yo, dude, you need Calm to stop." Down, yeah. yeah, like you can't fucking do that. And then he like really lost his shit, like and, beyond. And then I saw him get basically choked. Well, that's what made me you yeah. your story reminded me of that because he stepped to one dude who was clearly a superior end <laughs> bomb, and then another clearly superior end bomb comes out of left field and tackles him on the floor. No, dude, he, the moment he realized he was done was so perfect, like. It was like as soon yeah. as the guy charged him, he looked at him. He's like, "Oh!" And then it's all, <laughs> and then all of a sudden he's down on the ground and he just gave up. He submitted immediately. Yeah, it was just like, <laughs> and the I mean the guy was like a foot and a half taller than he was. Well, I mean, yeah, the guy was like five foot six. Yeah, no, 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 no. He was shorter. He's, he's short. Yeah, he no, was I was like, talking about the guy who tackled him. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck! I was like, no, no, no. You're giving him way too much credit. <laughs> I feel like he just had one too many chicks on a dating app. That he read their bio and it said no one under like six feet or five hey, five eight. Whatever. So I, I heard he him, also hold up. He also said something about the guy that came up to him. He was like, "You're not God. You're not my you're father. You're my, my father or my boss. Yeah, my, my boss. God or my father. father. Yeah. And ironically, like, oh. that was his boss and his father. <laughs> I'm just saying though, that shit goes deep. There was, like, yeah, he's there, got issues. There was a lot of shit that he just in that 30 second yeah. clip. He really like dug deep. But that, like that went way back. That's where, that's where I started to feel bad for him because like as, as big of a dick as he was and like. Yeah, yeah, you're in public or whatever. It's like, if are you going to film somebody on their worst day ever? Yes, 100%. Yeah, I yeah, know. I'm just saying, sure. like, but that's, like, what happens. Like, I, I honestly think that, like, 10, 15 years from now, we're going to look back on this, like, voyeuristic shit in, like, the, the social media age. And, be like, we were really filming people having mental breakdowns. Well, I, I actually think it's going to get crazier because everything's going to be recorded. Mm-hmm. Well, like, yeah. we're literally just going to be recording. So it won't even be crazy. It's like, that just, you just had a bad day. We'll have a laugh for five minutes, kind of yeah, like we did. It'll be gone, yeah. And then it'll be gone because someone else is having a breakdown. I mean, this, it's not going to be less recording. It's only going to get crazier from here. 
I remember the first the first day I found out what rubbernecking was. My mom explained it to me. When you see like a, a an accident on the yeah, freeway and yeah. everyone rubbernecks, um, that's basically what our society is now. Everything, everyone's rubbernecking everything outside yeah, yeah. the nightclub, outside you know any bar and PB. You see someone getting arrested, everybody with their phones. It's like funny, and I'm like making fun of them, like oh, look at all these motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. But I'm the one with my phone recording yeah. them. <laughs> yeah. It's so weird. But everyone, we just can't pass up like this opportunity to get something that might go viral well it's also you want to have physically have it too which yeah, is weird i mean I, i'm always trying to live in the moment bro live laugh love but so i never pull out my fucking phone i i, I try not to in that scenario but everyone else does you can just watch it yeah, i mean everyone's like it. yeah it's fomo you're, you're yeah. missing out dude but the video is gonna be up you don't have to post it but if yeah. you have it yeah you're yeah you're good you're good, man. I don't know. If a news station wants to buy it from you, you can pocket a cool 500. Oh, they, don't yeah. even, they don't even bother to pay you anymore. Those is that down, still? Those download it off your fucking Twitter account. Is that yeah. still a thing? Who was it? Uh, yeah, yeah, radio yeah. stations will pay you for. Footage? Yeah, uh, yeah, news stations. Are, yeah, they'll. If pay you have like footage. exclusive shit, not, that nobody else. Not, has not on. even there was a uh, there's there's a guy um, who uh, there's a comedian who um, posted uh, his a video of his pool during the earthquake. And the local news just fucking took it off Twitter and just used it as their but fucking. They have Twitter. to ask permission. Yeah, no, they, 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 have, no, they to have to. Yeah. Yes, they have by to. By law. Know. You don't know they, by law. They, you can't yeah. read. It's like recording. Was it the NFL <laughs> Express written yeah. copyright? You yeah. can't read. Uh, produce something. Yeah. Like we we can rip it, but then we, we do open ourselves up to like a lawsuit or yes. whatever. But they they can't rip it because they will get sued. Yeah. You, you, no, by no, law, they, they have to ask. <laughs> no, but they probably just asked him, send him a direct message. Oh, they didn't know. He posted on Twitter. He's like, hey, you can use it next time. Ask me. Oh, well, then he can sue them. Oh, yeah. all right. Technically speaking, he could. Oh, yeah. All he has to do is say, take it down. Okay, they they say yeah. they're sorry and take it down. I would sue him. Hey, why not? I need some money. I do, too. <laughs> Everybody needs money. Yeah. I need at least a cool 5K. <laughs> Just is, 5K? I mean, a, the 5K, though, like, that's that's a good amount. Like, that would that would serve me really well at this point. Yeah, 5K? No fair. more? I don't need 10? Yeah. N- maybe more than one? Yeah. Less than five in that range. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, yeah. We're Re- good. Remember, I was talking about how that cop almost hit me downtown. Yeah, I think I talked about it on my podcast. Yes, you did. I think if that would happen like seventy years ago, I think if it happened now, I might have leaned into it. I yeah, was like, I was like would. a, I was a <laughs> nice little like <laughs> yeah. two feet away, and the cop was making a left. Dude, a broken leg versus a lot of retirement. But, like, yeah. Yeah. he didn't see me, but he stopped just in like just in time. And if it was like yesterday, I probably would have just been like. <laughs> Boom! Oh. Head into the fucking, and then you hood. get arrested because they think you're wasted. And then, no. you, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Oh, fuck yeah! yeah they they, they, they don't let back. you go easy. Yeah, <laughs> it's like those old. I love those Russian videos where like the guys like, or I, it, it happens in China as well. Mm-hmm. The guys like uh, <laughs> in the street and like he just oh, falls he out of the car. On and he's the like, fucking oh. hood. <laughs> you know, like, hey man, it was worth a you know worth a try. <laughs> or, or, like, a try. or like the dude trying to fake a fall in the in the liquor store. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad move because you're not you're not taking you're not fucking over that person. Probably you're getting the insurance. insurance money. Yeah, but like, it, yeah, exactly. but like nowadays the way everything is like video. Like, yeah, back in the day when it was like some super grainy fucking pixelated video, yeah. you might be able to get away with it. Yeah, but now they're gonna like be able to like zoom into your fucking like shoelace. Yeah. Those guys that stole a bunch of stuff from North Face, you guys see that? Dude, what is up with that? That was pretty savage. So uh, j- just for context, everyone knows there's yeah. a trend going around right now called flash robbing. So it's a flash mob, <laughs> but they run into stores and it, uh, yeah, they run into stores and they rob the stores, but then like, none of them are wearing masks. Yeah. But it's like, uh, there was like about like eight people, maybe like eight to 10 yeah. guys and they all just kind of walk in slowly. It, they should just run. It looks should, weird. Yeah, it Cause look all weird. these dudes just walk into the North face store, like all at the same time. And then one starts going for like a bunch of jackets and then they all just mm-hmm. grab them and just jam out of there. Cause they can only, I mean, you can barely catch one of them. Yeah. Well, right? so the North face store, they got 30 grand. And, and it happens all in like 10 seconds. Yeah, but that's, oh, also, that was like, that's also like five items on North Face. <laughs> <laughs> so they got three jackets. Yeah. That was a fleece, a fleece hoodie and some shoes, bro. Yeah. Some it was a pair hiking. of long johns. <laughs> <laughs> that is no joke, though. Fuck that place. They should have went to H&M. They could have had the, yeah. whole, the half of the store yeah. for that much. It's like the fucking Nike stores that you go to where everything's like way fucking overpriced. Dude, okay, there's a Nike town. I'm from San Francisco. There's a Nike town in San Francisco. We used to go there all the time. Yeah. It's so cool. But they do not give discounts. What the? Fu- <laughs> I swear it's like overpriced there. What's it called? Nike Town. Nike Town. It's, it's, it's called. It's, it's like, actually it's cool. A, it's in Union Square, right? It's, like an yeah, it's a whole building it's like downtown. Three, it's like three stories. Yeah. Why? Why are you looking for discounts? 
I mean, uh, you know, everybody's like everybody's looking for discounts. Yeah, I mean, what like you, mean? you know, the shoes that are like a little bit older, like they have every shoe at oh, Nike Town. You know, I'm saying that's not like surprising that Nike doesn't give discounts. Like, no, no, I mean, like you know, something's on sale or anything. Like, you they, need some money, dude. You no, need some money like, at Nike Town. They yes! mark it up. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I need five k. I need five k, please. Yeah, not, Nike Town. Everything's marked up, like yeah. straight up. Yeah. Maybe. But it's also like the same shit that you would get at like a Nike fucking outlet store. Or an Amazon. Or an Amazon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> get that bootleg life, baby. Dude, uh, have you guys been to an outlet recently? No. I fucking love it. Down by Mexico. I love it. Oh, you've you been to the about, one down there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. El yeah. Chicharito El or something? or whatever. Oh, whatever. Chicharito? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a restaurant, but same shit. <laughs> right, yeah. Yo, it's, I get really nervous Los when I go Americanos, down there. Los Americanos? Is that what it's called? <laughs> I no, think I'm it serious. is, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's one exit away from Mexico. Yeah, it's in uh, San Ysidro. Is yeah. that why yeah. you get nervous? I get you nervous. too close? But I'm driving. I know where I'm going, and I know I'm not going to go to Mexico. I'm not stupid. But Well, every once in a while, you miss the exit. You're No, not one. I don't. I look at the signs. The signs get bigger and bigger. You notice that? Yep, and yep. it's like last United States exit. <laughs> last <I'm> like, chance. <gasps> don't I fuck know. This I up. just there's this fucking weird thing in my mind that I might miss it. And mm-hmm. end by the up way, I, I have been in a car who's missed the exit before. Yeah, of course you have. Yeah, yeah and you don't want to fucking be in that fucking shit show going back around. like that. No, it's awful, dude. My buddy, we uh, we used to drink and drive. You know, back in the day. You know? Of course, man. allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we got wasted at the house, and then uh, he's like, "Hey, let's go to Mexico." Bang some whores I'm like yeah, Sure Fuck yeah Let's go to Mexico Bang Hong some Kong. whores Let's go You know I'm probably Coked out of my head Anyway <laughs> yeah, <let's go. laughs> can't, even, can't even get a boner But you're like yeah. Fuck it let's go Yeah Training day You ever have your shit Pushed in <laughs> <laughs> Dude Great scene Yeah yeah So uh he has a uh, brand new Lexus LS something, you know, yeah. one of those like, but it's brand. Fun. Wait, how long it. ago are we talking here? This is probably 2007. Okay. Maybe 2008. So brand it, new. All right. Oh man. He loved this fucking thing. Brand new. Anyway, we're just not paying attention. We're, at, we're probably smoking a blunt in the car. Who the fuck knows? And he drives that fucking thing over the border. I've never seen someone panic so fucking hard in my time. <laughs> it was brand new. Like, I don't even think it had plates on it. Yeah, no no sure. insurance either, huh? Yeah. No, he had insurance. but like, it, No, 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 but you have to get the Mexican insurance. Oh, the Mexican insurance. Yeah, the yeah, Mexican yeah, yeah. Insurance. yeah. Yeah, which we'll talk about that in a second. Mr. Shoney doesn't oh, believe in that. Fuck. No, no, no. You don't believe in that shit. Hold on. I do now. <laughs> so <laughs> drives across the border, and uh, we're freaking out. And But he's like, well, let's go to Hong Kong, and let's find a... Um, like a place to put the car and like pay somebody. <laughs> okay, you fell for that? No, but it actually worked. So like we found a parking lot that uh, had armed guards and like barbed wire fence and we just parked the car there overnight and just left it. It was good and we gave the guy like extra 40 bucks. Overnight? We, that was ballsy. I mean, we're at Hong Kong. Okay, you know, I was going to say. <laughs> I mean, these whores. Uh, All right, that's fine. I mean, the whores don't stop. Yeah, there you go. In, in Mexico, it's whores so, are 24-7. <laughs> in Mexico, it's always like a, like a roll of the dice, like measuring, you know, risk versus reward and everything you do, so. Obviously, the reward was there. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah it was fine. But I just remember him freaking. I mean, he's like yeah, breathing heavy. A bra- <laughs> his brand new car. I mean, <laughs> pouring sweat. Well, the thing is, they're not going to pay you if they find out you drove into Mexico and you didn't get the Mexico and you don't insurance. have the Mexico insurance. They're not paying you for that car. You have to pay on that car. Yeah, yeah. Until you die. Yeah. Like a fucking house. Your grand, your grandkids will be paying off that fucking Lexus, dude. <laughs> That's I remember, terrible. I remember we uh, we went to TJ. Like on a whim, super fucking, super late. It was like two in the morning, and we went to like some random club in uh, in, in TJ. And on the way back, my friend had, my friend was born in England, yeah, born in London, but he just like didn't even think twice about the fact that he needed a fucking, he needed his uh, green card to get back in the states. So he has a green card. He does not have a passport. He's got his IDs, but he, but he lives here. Yeah, though. he's he's a resident. He's a permanent resident. Gotcha. Yeah. So, but he needs a fucking, but he's leaving the country. He's not right. just, yeah, you know, yeah. so he's got his driver's license and everything. And so we're coming back and when they, when you come across the border, they ask you like nonchalant questions, like just to get a quick response out of you. Yeah. So that way they can Have you ever truth. done anal? Yeah. Not that. <laughs> not I'm all, that I like yeah. lean on the horn. Wall. Uh, what? Um, uh, <laughs> me? <laughs> Wait, you watch the podcast? <laughs> um, but yeah, so he was, uh, so they're like, oh, uh, what, what city you were born in? And that's usually one that people would just like flinch and say whatever city they were born in. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's, like a, it's like a reaction. Right. He's like, Mexico City. Yeah. So, you know, so he, <laughs> he was like, oh, I was born in London. And they were like, oh, where's your, they're like, where's your fucking, like, where's your green card or whatever? Yeah. And he's like, oh, no, it's back home. And so they're like, all right, well, you can't come into the United States. So this is like five, this is like four in the morning. We're coming back. So we went down at like two in the morning. We're coming back at like four in the morning from the clubs. And, and so I get through with me and my friend and now he's stuck and so i'm like all right well i'm just gonna like go back 
and they're like, all right, well, you can pay like two hundred and fifty dollars, and we'll let him through. Who who says this? The border security. Los the federales. Border yeah. no, <laughs> this is this is U.S. Border Patrol. Um. So they're like, yeah, you can pay like two hundred fifty dollars, and we'll let you guys through. Is that a was, is that a corrupt thing, or is that just like no? That was like literally pay the government. It's a process. Yeah, they're like, yeah, pay the process government two hundred fifty dollars, and we'll figure out if he's actually a citizen or not. What? That's ransom. That's right? a shakedown. No, it was a shakedown, and uh, and so where I was like, fuck, dude. So I mean, I'm like nineteen years old. I'm broke as fuck. This dude is more broke than I am, so like, he can't afford shit. And our other friend is already through the fucking deal, and I, I'm already going back. And I was like, yo, I was like, just go back to fucking, you know, San Diego. And so we walked back from the border to uh, Revolucion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is. That's where you can gamble and yeah, like, yeah, get all crazy. Which is shady as fuck. That walk is not a nice walk. No, you should never walk that fucking yeah, you walk. You can get robbed there <laughs> yeah. for sure. Dude, it was all, it was the grimiest fucking shit I've ever done. So. Uh, we 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 uh, get to whatever is like the hotel Nelson or whatever right there like that main you know uh, hotel. Wait, did this end up with you fucking a chick? Yes. No, I fucking didn't. knew it. It didn't. No. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought I've heard this um, one before. My no. bad. Sorry. Go ahead. So, uh, so anyway, so we we go we go stay in this fucking hotel and I can't sleep. This is the grimiest fucking hotel you could ever get to. And um and so I'm like whatever and I'm like looking out the window and they're just like rolling people up in vans outside at like fucking five six in the morning like people just like Mexicans just standing on the corner they open up a van like three people grab them and throw them inside I was like what the fuck is going Dude, on crazy over here? shit happens at TJ yeah. craziness and, and so uh and so finally I go down to like the restaurant of the fucking uh in the, like, the lobby of the hotel which is also a barber shop. So, it's, I mean, it's TJ. Yeah, yeah. You know, like no joke. It was like an old timey barber shop and like a restaurant, like all in the yeah. same fucking. Deal. For sure, don't get the like the 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 lineup. The straight line, shape. Yeah, the straight straight shape. Straight razor, yeah. yeah. Get your fucking straight razor. your, your nope. neck slit and TJ. Um. So we're like trying to figure out how to get the fuck across the border. So um. So I have to go buy a fucking calling card because yeah. you can't. This is like pre fucking. Like, yeah, yeah. Back so, in the day. Yeah. Back in the day. So. Uh, I go buy a calling card and then we have to use the calling card to call this dude's girlfriend to come pick us up. Yeah. She probably loved that. Because his green card is all the way up in Northern California and he's down in San Diego. So there's no chance. Wait, we're okay. Card. So scenario wise, you're, you're still in TJ. Yeah. You call the girlfriend to drive from Northern California. No, 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 no. She's in San Diego. Oh, we're, to drive to NorCal. No, 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 no. There's no chance we're getting the green card. Okay, okay, okay. The green card is not happening. So yeah, she's yeah. coming with what? Two fifty? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Two fifty. That ass. She's coming yeah. with that ass. That ass. <laughs> That's so, all I need. So I, so we call her. I think I, I think I was the one that called her. I was because I grew up with her, and uh, and I was like, hey, you know, we're down in TJ right now. I'm not trying to freak you out or anything, but we can't come across the border like walking wise. Like you got to come pick oh, us up. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so so she drives down from fucking San Diego to pick us up, and we she picks us up at this hotel. And as soon as we get in the car, I was like, "Hey, did you uh did you get some of that at the Mexico insurance?" And she probably didn't even know. No, she didn't even know. She was like, "She, what the fuck are you talking about?" Yeah, yeah. And she starts freaking out on the road. She like takes her hands off the wheel. She's like, "What do I do? What do I do?" And I was like, "Just keep fucking driving. Yeah, get, us yeah, get us out of here. Get us out of here. Get away, driver, bitch. <laughs> Jason Statham, let's go." <laughs> so she's like panicking, like freaking the fuck out. And I'm like, "Yo, just drive to the fucking border. Keep your fucking cool because we have to pretend like this guy doesn't have his fucking green card." Yeah, yeah, for sure. And so we had to like pull through, and they they asked they only asked the driver the questions when right. we were driving yeah, across. Usually, yeah. Yeah. So like Especially if you all look American. Yeah, yeah, They're not yeah, fucking yeah, with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I'm Mexican. Shoney, though. I don't know. Hey. They're like, that's Swiss Why don't you believe in Mexican insurance? <laughs> or why do you now believe in Mexican insurance? I, I'm not sure. Scoop brought that no, up. But I, I have a no, feeling. No, you brought that for a reason, though. I have a feeling it has to do when we when we went down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, like, I got it, and he's just like, ah, you don't need that shit. You don't need I'm like, no, because I think we both drove. There was, a, there was a trip that we both drove separately. Yeah. Is and this I, when we almost got in a car accident? Like really? Oh close? yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh I fuck! Thought that, I thought. And that's you what had we the insurance? About. Yeah, I had. The, oh fuck yeah! Shoney, how much Shoney didn't? Well, he was just like, man. Is it like twenty five bucks a day or it's something? It's like nothing. It's like thirty dollars. Why? Like, I mean, we were there for five days or something like that. Four or five days. I can't remember. I think so. This is when like uh, like Cheyenne, Kevin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone, yeah. yeah and oh, uh, we almost took out like a whole like Mexican family. Yeah, it was no, actually not, really I'm bad. I'm not joking. I'm not exaggerating at all. Yeah. Like we came up to just like this little hill right here. We were close too, so we we're all just talking. And we're in a and, like, caravan. Van, basically like a caravan of cars yeah there's like three to four cars all just kind of like 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 you said like caravan and yeah. we just came over this little like this, this little uh like hill 
and there was a stop sign, and I was talking. Were you in the car with me, or were you in another car? I think I was in the car with you. You were in the car with me, and there was someone in the back. And we come up, and there's a stop sign. Oh, I'm like, oh, shit. We had to slam on the brakes. So I slam on the brakes, forgetting that there's, like, a bunch of people behind us. And, man, we all just lock up our brakes and come straight to the stop yeah, sign. Yeah, everyone's kind of sliding side. You know that yeah, sign? Yeah. You know that sign with the with the uh, Mexican lady? I'm assuming she's Mexican. And the yellow sign with the with kids? The kid? yeah, yeah, of course. I swear to God, that was them. Right in front of the <laughs> fucking stop sign. And we're all just all these American cars just... And yeah. we're all just looking at each other like, what the fuck? What? And I think that's – and then Scoop was like, oh, yeah, what's up with that Mexican insurance? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh. Who got the Mexican insurance? Oh, that's right. I did. <laughs> yeah. well, oh, my the, God. I think some insurance companies cover you up to like yeah. 70 miles. Yeah. But it's not all of them. No, no, no. Dude. Yeah, so some of them still will it's cover you. It's definitely worth yeah. looking into before you venture down Well, you that also way. don't want to end up in a situation where like the federales are trying yeah. to hem you up. Like, oh, yeah. Well, right they're right. not going to cover the fact that you fucking plowed over Door of the Explorer. Like that, You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dude, I mean, that's they what might, it was though. like. I'm pretty sure that's like like the number one thing they cover. I'm not sure what I would have done if we just would have fucked. It was close. Could it you was, imagine? I said, no, Could I don't imagine? want to imagine. Dude, my mom killed somebody uh, driving way back in the day. Yeah, that's terrible. Uh, yeah, no, it was fucking horrible. A uh, guy, it, it wasn't her fault though, but the uh, in San Francisco, she's coming down a hill. This is like 89 or maybe Holy 1990. Shit. And in San Francisco, people cross the street fucking willy He was on a bike. He was on a bike and uh, he ran the red and she was going like, you know, 30. But Nothing it was she like she was do. going the speed limit. Yeah. And uh, he was a little older. She said he was like 50 or 60. Yeah. And, you know, she's probably like 35 at the time. Yeah. And uh, yeah, plowed him, killed him. And uh, didn't like, kill him instantly. No, oh. not instantly. So uh, they take the guy to the hospital. And she's freaking out. Of course, she goes to the hospital. They won't tell her anything. And then uh, finally, some nurse came by. And she's like, "Yeah, he died." Man, like they're not supposed that, to tell that, you. That'll leave you with some PTSD. Fuck yeah, yeah. Dude, see, legitimately though, how did your how did she deal with that? Like, because I've often she wondered. Thought it was like, hilarious. that's always in the. <laughs> <laughs> she tells that story and laughs about it until yeah, this. That's, day. Told that that's given, always yeah. in the back of my head. Like, I don't know how I would handle it if I killed somebody. Uh, Watch out! Yeah. Here comes Scoop's mom. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, does anybody want to hear the murder story? Right? <laughs> like, she's coming around the corner. She's driving crazy. She's uh, the Drift King. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere. She's no, on she, it. she wasn't. Uh, she seemed bummed about it when I was younger, but I don't know. Like, There's yeah. nothing she could do. It wasn't she, like. She, she would wake school in the middle of the night. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. <laughs> God, that's the best thing you've said uh, since I've known you, Alex. She, uh, yeah, that's intense, dude. Yeah, pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah, But, I mean, he ran the red. There's nothing she can do. I know. Yeah. Like, she's. It's like if you're driving through a residential way, yeah. neighborhood and some kid fucking decides to book out and you know from a driveway. Yeah. Can you imagine? So who cares? If I'm happens going all 60. the time. Yeah, yeah. That's that kid's fucking fault. A hundred percent. Fuck him. Happens all. Kids time. are fucking stupid. Yes. We, I was stupid. I'm not afraid to say it. Yeah. I would run out in the street and do stupid shit. What do you mean? What we're doing right now is stupid shit. We're never going to stop. <laughs> is it? Oh, fuck. I got to go. We're never going to stop. This shit, Look at me men, now. Dude. Look at me now, mom. Yeah. Look at me now. We're men. We no always hands. do stupid shit. It's just how we live our lives. Since, a quarter of a stupid mile at a time. <laughs> Since we're 25 minutes into the show, should we do an introduction? Yeah, damn, oh, dude. It. I was like waiting for it. Hey, Dom it. is still here. Where's he at? <laughs> yeah, Dom. We were waiting on Dom. He's supposed to be here by now. but. Yeah. So, uh, uh, you know, everyone knows Shoney. Yeah, exactly. So the T-shirt that Shoney's wearing right now, we just dropped on the store. Do you uh, want to talk about it like as if he's on a, a runway? And yeah. here we have Shoney. And here we oh, have don't tempt me. Don't fucking tempt me. <laughs> Shoney, by the way, if he showed you his rock hard abs, that would be the same <laughs> design on his chest. Yo, why low key? Why are you always talking about my abs? Well, why am I saying low up key? Right I'll, now? I'll blast. I was it. waiting for him to like call me down the <laughs> runway. <laughs> He's like, uh, low key, let me see that dick yeah. root. <laughs> hey, low key, how you fuck? <laughs> low key, right? you got a pretty good dick. <laughs> Showing you hard right now? Yeah. <laughs> hey, let me see that good dick. But yeah, we just dropped that t shirt, yeah. uh, as well as many other t shirts. Um, yeah, the Shoney merch is up and ready. It's a it's a Shoney slash Tasteless Gentleman collaboration. A collab. Y'all saw it coming. Y'all saw it coming. <laughs> y'all already know what it is. Y'all already know what it is. <laughs> Dude, get fucking get one of those for Ziggy. I will. I don't know if we can have them that small, can we? I don't know. It'd have yeah. to be a dog shirt. Uh, we can get a, a baby yeah. shirt. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah. And and Dom will be back next week. Don't worry, everybody. Yeah, Dom, Dom's yeah back. dude, that kind of freaked me out when I came in here. I was like, no. we're going to drop the E at the end of this show, yeah. but it's not the same. Uh, I don't it's think really not the same. It's uncomfortable. Actually, actually, yeah, maybe it's it's insulting to Dom that we, do, that we drop it without Spe him. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of OTL, right. I actually ran into him in OTL. Dom? Dom, yeah. I didn't even know he was going to be there. I just ran into him. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I He's, saw him today, too. I saw him at uh, my gig. 
So he's just partying? Yeah, no, he was drinking. He's fucking, he was drinking. He's like, no. I can't do the show because I'm going to be in bed. Actually, I'm glad he's not here because I want to bring up something about him that I want to talk to you guys about. Uh-uh. We're talking about like saving money and just being responsible. <laughs> Scoop, uh, Scoop damn and it. I just talked about this. Did I, you really? I, I was hoping no. it was going to be way better than this. No, this because this, so I have this uh, this gig in Pacific Beach and I usually like relieve him. He's DJing and I come up and it's like a new thing, but it's cool because I get to see him. I yeah. don't see him a lot. So I saw him like a week ago and we're talking about, you know, responsible shit. And he starts talking about how he's saving up money. I was like, good. And he's like, yeah, I just really want these rims for my car. <laughs> <laughs> and that was exactly what I did. I just laughed. I was like, you fucking serious? And he's just kind of like, yeah, man, I want some rims. By, by I'm the like, way. Dom. I'm like, Dom, no, 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 man. Like, save your money. No, that's like, an investment. Invest it. That's no, an investment. Not. What the fuck are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> are they spinning, though? <laughs> okay, listen, Paul Wall. <laughs> no. and, and he said that. And I was like, dude, are you kidding me right now? No, and you I was dead like, serious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's dead serious. Yeah, and he, no. and, I mean, he has a Ferrari. Have you seen it? It's Ferrari, it's yeah. white Ferrari. Why don't I believe you? I mean, it's basically it's not a literally Ferrari. a Ferrari. It's basically a Ferrari. His fucking side view mirrors have carbon fiber wings. Oh, though, yeah. dude. dude, it's all carbon. I mean, it's nice. It's all <laughs> carbon fiber. I, I told yeah. him he was wearing his. He was wearing jeans and Nikes at the fucking at uh, Fiesta Island. Can you guys be honest with me right now? What the fuck does he? Do? What does he drive? A Ferrari. No, it's, no, it's a it's the a BMW. Brand new BM or pretty much brand new BMW. It's a, yeah, four, it's a nice five, BMW. five series, right? What it's happened a four to the Phantom? Oh, no, 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 sorry, eight series. No, 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 it's a four. Something. It's a four series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a new four series. Oh, right. the Phantom will be here once TG really hits. Yeah, <laughs> that'll be the first thing that Dom buys. But we'll be, li- be living in it. We do miss him in his knee pad space pants. I do. <laughs> Camo dog. knee pad space pants. <laughs> it's just you, the E, though. The E is yeah. not going to happen anymore without Dom. Yeah, yeah, I guess we can't I mean, do He'll it. be back next episode, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. it's just we tried it uh, we, you know, earlier, and it just, just no. Yeah, it doesn't have the same feel to it. No, no. Did not. It really has less feel to it when you realize you're making fun of a retard. That E, <laughs> that, that, yeah. e that E yeah. hits different without Dom. Yeah. It does. The E hits different without Dom. Did you finish the intro or did you just I mean, uh, whatever? Yeah. There's right. Scoop, that's Alex, We're this good, is Shoney, yeah. I'm Bradley, yeah. and there's Ziggy. If you don't know about Spot now, fuck you. Like yeah. at this point. All right. Wow. Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ. Yeah. Give this guy three beers. I do. <laughs> Have you noticed though? Yeah. Have you noticed the conversation? Whoa. Yeah, a little bit. Just a little edgier. Yo, little what is this? What? He likes you. I thought he never liked me. He what do you used mean? To bark at me when I used to come yeah, over. Just, he's protecting his fucking domain, dude. What? He he's barked gonna, at you when you walked in here. Yeah, he's gonna take a fucking piss. <laughs> yeah. he's, or vomit. He vomited on Scoop that one time. No. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah. Did, yeah. he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was actually before a show. So we, I yeah. get over to Bradley's house. I'm um, just playing with Zig a little bit, and uh, I, you can't touch like under. He has a he has a collapsing trachea. Uh, yeah, he has. A I'm bad, not touching no, it. He has worry. a bad gag reflex. Uh, yeah, essentially, if he were a gr- if he were a chick, that's what it would be. So Scoop like hugged him, and he got him right there in that spot, and he like coughed once, and then just went. Right. <laughs> well, Scoop, Scoop has like, all in his beard. And yeah. shit, dude, projectile and just, vomit. I, just, like- I look over, and Scoop's like this. He's like. <laughs> no, I don't do well with that shit. Do you want to take him? <laughs> He's fine. Yeah. On you. Jeez, but Scoop dude. has the bad luck on all the show shit, yeah. like mid show. Oh, yeah. Like there, were, I, I had one of those folding chairs in my house before we were doing video. Oh like, yeah, and that I mean that thing was janky as fuck to begin it with. It was an IKEA chair. Yeah, it was, it was like a five dollar IKEA chair, and we're like <laughs> mid conversation, and it that's just that's a premium too. Five dollars, <laughs> yeah, yeah. premium. That's the high end one. Yeah, I went big on that one. I mean these IKEA chairs too. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll wait Don't long enough. It. Wait Don't long enough, it. we'll get we'll get a good yeah. drop in. But yeah, we were like, hey, what's going on down here, buddy? <laughs> that's that's, Sorry, that's the beer gut, bro. Relax. I gave you a couple minutes to cover hey, it up. Man, yeah, that's yeah, years of minute. work. <laughs> that's years of well, work. Well, you want me to stop talking about your abs? And you're, talk about, <laughs> you're talking talking about my dad bot over here? That's more than a dad bot, homie. That's more hey, than a dad bot. The dad bot is sexier than ever now. Hey. OTL, baby. OTL. <laughs> what up? We can do a survey on the fucking uh, the Instagram page. Which is sexier, dad bod Dude, or I, abs? To be honest, I think that uh, girls like dad bods. They do just in more general. than like being in shape. Maybe not girls no, no, who no, are no, like twenty one to twenty five. Not not more than being in shape. Yeah, but more than being in really 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 good shape. If that makes sense, like a yeah. dude who's like three yeah. percent body fat, she'd rather. I mean, because I'm, that makes them feel like yeah. they're fat. I was just gonna say the exact it's same always thing. A, yeah. it's always about them. It has nothing to do with you. A hey, fucking well, man, we, brother. We, we were talking about this earlier. So, like, uh, one of the guys we ran into at OTL was this dude who has been a bouncer for years in PB, and this guy is like full on like bodybuilder, like shredded out of his fucking mind. How much are you getting paid to promote this? Yeah, <laughs> a, a lot. God damn, By the way, dude. everybody, everybody go to the Ombok website. <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah, that shop. That's <laughs> uh, 
But anyway, so like this dude fucking every single girl this guy dates, and we've known him for fucking years, they all look like centaurs. Like yeah, 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 they're all sure. like, dude, they're all shredded. like, like yeah, they're all shredded. They look like almost like dudes to the point where you're questioning, like, all right, are you looking for a dude or are you I looking really, for a girl? Like, really want to fuck one of those. Chicks. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say I, I really want to fuck a centaur. <laughs> well, that too, that horse pussy. Why yeah, not? that's true. It's too high though. I need a stool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, wait. You really want to fuck what? Yeah, like one of those really muscular chicks. You, in, I've always wanted body, the bodybuilding. Yeah, yeah like yeah. bodybuilder chick. Check this out. Life hack, real quick. <laughs> yeah. Pornhub. Yeah. They have a certain category for those chicks. Yes. Really? It's intense. Yes. <laughs> it's intense. Or are they the like super bodybuilder or are they just really in really Wait, good we, shape? Super we've bodybuilder. talked about like, this like, at some pack, point. I think like, you like, mentioned it. I'm surprised. If that was a guy, I'd be surprised how ripped she was. Check this out, bro. Uh -oh. I'm not sure if they're all lesbians, but I think most of them are. They're just fucking huge. They're naked. They're not having <laughs> sex. They're masturbating. How and big get is the this. Clip? <laughs> They're pulling on their lips. They're like labias, <laughs> pulling them down like a dick. And I'm sitting there going, my oh. masturbation masturbation session's over. Yeah, I'm just yeah. watching now like Netflix. I'm like, are you fucking <laughs> serious? No, right that's now? truly fascinating. Yeah, they're yeah. they're pulling their lips. They're lebi labias, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah thank you. Know, whatever. Cool. Major while. Majora, not menorah. <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. You know, it's, it's next to the clit or yeah. the butthole. I'm roast, not sure yet. It's the roast beef. Who exactly. Cares? The Arby's. curtains. The curtains. <laughs> Arby's. They're yanking on it. Like far, like out, like, like this a is a genre of porn. Like, yep, really? Do they do they yep. do they pull it like a cross? You know, like the bat wing from. <laughs> yeah, no, they pull it down Where like it's like, a dick, like They're... the predator's mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they pull it down <laughs> like a dick. <laughs> It's fucking crazy. Wait, you so what, check it what out. the fuck are you searching? Like, man, we, let's drop it. Let's whatever. No, Did you do I, the intro already? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I need. What are well, you? Welcome to another episode of the Tasteless Gentleman. I, how did I you find God, this? I, how I, did you find this? It sounds like I just I'm looking for this shit, but I swear to God, I always come across this weird shit like, just, randomly. Just yeah. like the sex yeah, toy. Always, the I just so happen to come across it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying right yeah, there. Yeah. Like, how weird. The prostate toy, I fucking, that shit came up and I was like, oh, what's that? Literally. <laughs> oh, I got a membership. Let's do it. But you, you're you always two clicks or something crazy. Yeah. Always. Yeah, especially on Pornhub. Exactly. Especially on Pornhub. There's, there's a video that I, I've watched uh, maybe a thousand times now. Jerk off every day to it. It's some dude. This chick, she's, she looks like a crackhead, but she gives the best fucking head I have ever seen in my entire life. I got to send it to you guys. Is it one of Please those, do. is it one of those uh, porn videos where they like, basically like have the crackhead suck dick for like a hit of the crack pipe no it's not that i think they're married i think they're married but he's always playing video games so is this amateur shit yeah, yeah. Amateur. it's the all best. amateur the now the best it's the shit oh, God. well i mean he can't sleep unless he hears a girl crying maybe you're maybe your thing might be shoney wait no, what you, you. Oh. oh i thought yeah. you're pointing at me i'm like no maybe you're maybe your thing's no. the gag that yeah, when you're going to bed, you yeah. can see it in the background. <laughs> that's, that's ASMR porn. Yeah. <laughs> that is aggressive. That noise is aggressive. It's special though when like the first time you encounter that as a young boy. Yeah. It's well, like, a really the, special. The moment. first time a girl sucks your dick like it's a porn is really kind of strange. Because it doesn't have the same like allure or the feel that you think it would. Yeah. Yeah, it feels I don't better. Remember, I do not remember that. Oh, your first blowjob? I kind of remember, but I, no, I don't not, remember not, being like, not whoa, first this is like... Not first blowjob. I'm talking about... Not first... <laughs> <laughs> I remember going like that. Like, she wouldn't suck it all the way, so I remember going like... No, I'm not talking about first blowjob. I'm talking about the... Like you're levitating? Yeah, 10 minutes later, she's like, Shoney, what are you doing? I'm like, nothing. Just he's got, suck it. He's got his leg over his head. He's like, eat the ass. <laughs> get the get the ass butthole. Get the oh, butthole. Oh, my God. No, no, I'm talking about the first time a girl like really like tried to like throw up on your dick kind of porn star throw Shit, up. Shit, last week, homie. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Craigslist, baby. Craigslist. <laughs> they can't do it on Craigslist anymore, though. Can they not? I mean, I don't know. Where they, there's they, a will, there's a way. Yeah, Come get this Ikea desk, <laughs> homie. Yeah, you should watch the videos here late night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the new studio. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you. It's yeah, nice. It's, it's your our third episode in the new studio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. We still haven't done the walls, but... You know, it, remind, it reminds me of back Baby in the steps. day when you would be chewing on hard foods and candies. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? In the other studio, in the, other the studio. three of us were yeah. chewing on food. You yeah. know, this dude knows me. You fucking know me, bro. We'd be, we'd, you... we'd be recording an episode in the old studio back in the day. Oh. <laughs> and Shoney would be literally just eating fucking hard, like hard fucking snack foods. Sucking on Werther's originals. I don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't and you, think. And you would just hear. 
<laughs> it's, either, it's either my abs or me sucking on something. I'm not sure what's going on over here, but I appreciate that. I don't know. I feel people, like you guys got something you need to work yeah, out. Yeah, right? People <laughs> ask me, like, what happened to like episode one through 12? I'm like, well, it's mostly Shoney chewing. <laughs> I don't think I, I knew what a podcast was back there. You, you guys just None gave of me us a did. fucking microphone. No, yeah. We just Where are, are those episodes lost forever? Or does someone have I them? I think you have the earliest one. Which episode one? five? The one I said I told you I had. I don't. Yeah, I don't think that Scoops I found there. No, I have audio no. of one. It's I don't know who it is, but it's it's. I know it's us three with like two guests. Yeah, but it's not even like four. It's not structured. We're just. I mean, I know oh, we're this bullshitting right now. <laughs> yeah. No, this is like kind of structured. Like, all right, we do the intro. We know what time it is. Back then, we were just like, let's farting drink. on the mics, yeah. farting on the mics, yeah, eating yeah. hard candy, sucking. I don't know what you said, but like, sucking <laughs> or something. I'm not sure what you thought we did. <laughs> what? No, mostly farting and just chewing on hard candies. If that's what we did, that's what we, we did, should man. keep those for like another decade and then post them on eBay. And just <laughs> eBay <laughs> for three dollars. Like some old. Hey man, hot if, motherfuckers, yeah. if motherfuckers can sell hot Cheetos or flaming Cheetos in the shape of Homer Simpson for fifteen hundred bucks, we could sell fucking. Yeah, that's ancient a fair episodes. point. Yeah, that is a fair point. When Shoney gets super famous, like here's our fucking long audio of Shoney chewing. Dude, <laughs> we, uh, we a new and, and his panties. A new business <laughs> idea will be to do the premium Snapchat. We got to figure out a way to do that for All guys. Yeah, yeah, for guys. Yeah, mm-hmm. hot boy summer on three. You think you think you could sell a T-shirt to somebody through your, through your internet? I mean, not a T-shirt. Excuse through me, like your a, internet. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Hold on. Pause. What the fuck, man? No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry, I meant like like a used. You think you could sell that through your Instagram? Like a used. T-shirt, like maybe. one that Underwear. he's sweating. Yeah, um, something like that. Like I like, did, I did a four-hour live set yeah, in his shirt. Like I mean, this could be to a guy or a girl right but, now. You yeah, like right. right no, no. I mean, not to play your phone, but I mean, I, like, do you think that by the end of this episode, <laughs> it's like the Home Shopping Network? <laughs> you got one. Got one. <laughs> but you think you can pull that? Off? You sell this shirt as the shirt you wore on the Tasteless Gentleman yeah. episode one hundred and seven. Yeah. yeah. How about is this? One hundred and seven. Uh, yeah, this is one of the seven. Things. I could sell my jizz rack, homie. Okay. Do you think you could? Oh, uh, no. Okay, wait. Oh, I, mean, I mean, we got we to gotta test it out if you think What is this dude's it. deal? <laughs> What's my deal? My jizz rack. I was like, oh, I'm Shoney. I'm just saying, let's do it. If you're going to talk about it, let's sell it. Hold up. <laughs> I don't even know if you could sell that legally. <laughs> I mean, you can sell bath water now. I'll so. fucking masturbate on the coffee table right now. I don't give a I shit. Saw some well, let's chi- not get that far. I saw Come some on. chick the other day selling her vaginal fluid on Facebook. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Dude, women. So yeah, you could sell anything, dude. Women, women sell breast milk online like it's regular <laughs> fucking shit. Oh, oh Shoney. <laughs> yeah, legitimately selling vaginal fluid. What? The I fuck? feel like I could sell a shirt, but I I don't think I could sell a lot, like a sweaty like shirt. I was like, yo, I. Did I just feel this. like there's so many creeps on the internet. There are, and I know a lot of creeps. I like, was talking about this other night, socks. dude. The, yeah. the the gay dudes love you in the oh, in the name I wasn't of talking pride. About guys. Oh, but that's what we were saying. Men, oh, women doesn't. But anybody, anybody. also, gay dudes don't have to pay for shit because it's just there. Yeah. Well, I'm just I was I, I, there's probably some I've I've met some women in the last decade that definitely have the creeper status. Of you know they have this like they would stash. buy a pair yes. of underwear because you sharded in them. Yes, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I know for a fact because there's so basically wrong. stalkers. We're, we're, there's only been a couple. We're, we're gonna test it out, and there's gonna be headlines on BuzzFeed like DJ tries to sell his dirty underwear. <laughs> Wait, I want to know how how bad did these stalkers get though? Like, because obviously you had um, enough experience with them to say, "Holy shit, you're fucking crazy." Well, fuck it, let's go into it. Uh, yeah, bro. So let, I'm gonna start from this week. Oh, Bradley gets off on this one. <laughs> Hot as fuck. Yeah, he does. Here. Bradley's big ass dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. His smooth ass fucking whoa what shaft <laughs> helmet <laughs> Hel- <laughs> helmet bro. mushroom tip. I never liked that word mushroom tip mushroom stamp. Oh no mushroom tip. I hate it. It's disgusting. Okay, so go on. Um, there's this chick that I met uh, probably like eight years ago. She was coming to Dollhouse downtown. You guys mm-hmm. remember Dollhouse? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She came to Dollhouse to see uh, DJ Shift, and I was opening for him, and apparently. She kind of she was stalking him and then switched over to me. Uh, he got the old bait and switch on the stalker. Huh? Yeah. Ooh. So he even told me she's like, "This chick's fucking weird." <laughs> and I was like, "So you were warned?" Just, yeah. But I was like, "Oh, she's kind of cute, you know." Yeah, you're also new um, in the game. You're like, "All right, exactly." <laughs> so then she started coming out to all my shows, and I'm like, "Oh, cool, this is cool." Hey, you know. So you friends. met her that night. You yeah, I met her that okay. night. But I, I mean, I mean, everyone like everyone yeah. comes up to me. I yeah, meet yeah. him. You know, I'm not like, "Oh wait, are you a stalker?" Yeah. So I meet her, and then she starts coming out a lot, and then. Too much, which and is kind of cool. Starts, At first, it's kind of cool, right? Yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, I got somebody sure. coming out all the time. Sometimes people come out and they're like, 
just trying to hang out and wa- and listen to me DJ and dance. And it's like, yeah. oh, dude, that's awesome. But yeah. sometimes it goes too far. So then she comes out. She starts coming out more. I'm like, oh, this is getting weird. Then she DMs me. I'm like, oh, cool, blah, blah. Then she starts sharing too many things with me. Like, oh, my boyfriend beats me. And I'm like, oh, cool. Ooh. Yeah. So that was the first one. I was like, why are you telling He's me like, oh, this? yeah, keep mm-hmm. going. <laughs> and then, really? <laughs> um, so, yeah. So she tells me that. And I'm like, dude, that's just too much. Um, and then she says she wants to kill herself. And I was like, dude, I'm not the person to talk to yeah. about Wait, this. How was she telling you this? Like in person? No, on uh, Instagram. Okay. And this is years ago. And then she just says only things. And then obviously she, she she knows the good balance. She'll flirt with me more. So then I'll be interested. And then she'll like drop some shit on me. I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. I, I yeah. can't like this. For is sure can't like help that. you with that. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, that happened. And then uh, she got her, her dude knocked her up. And then I was like, dude, I'm out. I never hooked up with her. I never even like met up with her. And I was like, dude, I can't. Dodged a bullet. I can't yeah, I can't fucking deal with this. So I was like, dude, just can you just leave me alone? Mm-hmm. And I had to say some choice words to her to like just dude, like fuck off. Like basically. for sure, fuck off. Yeah, 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 yeah fuck yeah. off. Then she hit me up like two years ago, same thing. My life's shitty, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, didn't you have a fucking kid? She's yeah, like, where's yeah, your but, kid? Yeah. yeah, so it's just weird. I just don't like that stuff. I don't think anybody likes that no, stuff, right? No, no. So that happens. And then a couple days ago. I see her. It's been like three years, maybe, or maybe no less than that. And uh, I see her at one of my gigs with like another guy, and I'm like, oh shit. Well, as long as she just does her thing, stays on the other side of the dance floor where I'm working, you know. And uh, she doesn't and all do of anything. And the mix is like DJ Shoney. <laughs> She's all. I want to fucking kill myself. So fuck me right, kill myself right now. <laughs> Damn, what would you do? Oh fuck her. shit. What else yeah, what? <laughs> After she killed herself? Oh yeah, that's an option. So she doesn't look at me. Nothing happens throughout the whole night. I'm like, dude, that's fucking awesome. Then I leave. I get home. I text my girl goodnight. And then my phone goes off. I'm like, that's weird. Like, usually when me and my girl say goodnight, like it's that's over. It, We're both yeah. passing out. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what? That was my phone ringing. <laughs> I think we put that yeah, together. Yeah, we Thank that, you. Yeah. That was <laughs> terrible. We're, We're not the sharpest tools in the shed, but we got that one. <laughs> it sounds no, like just a, a pigeon. Yeah. <laughs> 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 my ringtone. So I get a text. I'm like, what the fuck? I look at it, it's a little heart, a red heart from a, from a, uh, a number I don't know. And I'm like, and I just put it together. I'm like, dude, it's been like fucking years. Well, she had your phone number and it wasn't even just the DM? No, I'm not sure how she got my phone number. I'm guessing it's her. I don't, to be honest, it's I don't safe, have random a chicks. Bet, just, yeah. yeah, if a random chick hits me up, they're trying to fuck. They're not trying to send me a heart. Like, what the fuck? It's not Valentine's Day, right? It's not? Thank you. Right. Um, so, yeah, so I got that. I just put two and two together. I'm like, dude. Did I just put – do you have uh, – when your phone, you know, the, the screen notifications, does yeah. it show the text? No, never. Okay. I was like, dude. Nothing. Yeah, you got to turn that one off. That's a rookie. No. Yeah. I thought, I thought you had that on the screen. No. I'm like, no, no. no I had what, that what, for what, a long what time. What did you think yeah. that? Well, I just you said like my phone went off. I looked at it, and I just sounded like you no, just – No, I opened it. I don't have anything Ooh. on my screen, and not because I don't want anybody to see it. I just – when I'm working, if I – just you don't want to be distracted. Pop up. I'm yeah. like, I don't want to be distracted. Uh, I no, re- so I remember we were at um, uh, Hard Rock one night when you were DJing, and we left at like you know after you after it closed, so it's like two in the morning, and some chick was just like flashing her tits. It happens a lot. Yeah, like there was some girl. She was there in the club to like to see you. And we're leaving, and she's like trying to like throw herself on you and like flashing your tits, and we're just like literally walking through the fucking street, and it was like yeah. To be honest, I I had like four to six months of just like slang just like <laughs> show me your tits and we're gonna hook up don't worry your house my house hotel it doesn't matter i'll be honest like four to six months I'll after fuck that you whenever that, and that, after that it. it just gets old it's just like well what the fuck yeah. like and i'm not sitting here saying like i, I want to look for something more in a woman yeah. like no it's just you can only fuck so many times you can only fuck this like, dick can yeah. only handle so much <laughs> Right, well, Alex. The only thing you're looking for a woman is your dick. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it just got boring after. Not boring, but you know yeah. what I'm saying. No, it's it gets like, old. It's it not does. special anything anymore. Anything in life, no if rush. you keep doing it, it's yeah. gonna get boring. There's no fucking That's adrenaline kind of what rush. We were talking about before. It's like you do one crazy thing and you keep doing that, and eventually you just revert back to like I want something wholesome. Yeah, or you just want to start fucking dudes. Chris Brown, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Chris right? Brown, what? am I right? <laughs> We were talking about that, right? Uh, I didn't know it. that was the rumor. I forgot. Yeah, we, we talked about that. Or it's just uh, what's his name, uh, Nas X or uh, little little, little, little Nas, Nas X, X. Yeah. Oh, uh, Old but he's, Town Road. He's openly gay, though. He's not even. Yeah. Well, yeah. he just came out on everybody. Like he was. Yeah. yeah. Dunking on. Fools. I think that's the yeah. thing to do now, rappers. I think so. Right? Didn't yeah. uh, I love McConan do that? Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's, where did he go? He's still making music. Yeah. He's I'm actually still like, making better music now that he came out of the closet. Hmm. That's cool. There you go. He said that. What was his big hit? He had that really big song. Tuesday going up. I'm on fucking Tuesday. bitches. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Club going up. 
on, on a Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, hey, wow. that was so much fun. Now let's on, still play it. Yeah. We're play it back out on Tuesdays. Last song of the night. Let's go. I hate when people complain about club music, not club music, but like radio shit or something like that. Because it is fun. It's always fun. It's you whole don't have it. to like it. It's not like, dude, I'm not playing it at my fucking it's not, funeral. It's not but Beethoven. Like, it's fun. Yeah, it's not Beethoven. Yeah, yeah. But it's fun. That's, That's the whole right. point. Yeah. It's supposed to be mindless, so you don't give a fuck what you're doing. You can just yell stupid shit. Yeah, exactly. Amen, brother. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to. Don't choir, get me started. Yeah. I'm a DJ. I'll, I'll go on for fucking three hours about it. Are there, started, are there, are there any songs that people want that you're just like, no, I don't want to fucking play that? No, never. No? Fuck no. Do you all play anything? I don't give a shit. He's not DJ Method. Hey, Macarena. Hey. Do not compare me to Method. I love that dude. But... Throwing spears. Well, you want a salad, so. <laughs> yeah, I play I play everything. I just I just want people to have fucking fun, man. I play a lot of different like different like, you know, um places. So dude, I'm playing a little bar in PB. People want to hear fucking whatever, I'll play it. Play bigger nightclubs. I'll play whatever, dude. Yeah. I'm getting paid. I'm getting paid to do what I love. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Live, laugh, love, brother. Yeah. Live, laugh, love. Music, brother. He's Show just like those titties. He's just living the dream, guys. He's just living the dream. <laughs> yeah, you know. So that was that was the one um, stalker chick, and then there's been other couple chicks. But it's it's weird because they start out with just like hitting on me, and it's like, of course I'm gonna pay attention to you. You yeah. know, like it's you know potential relationship yeah. maybe, and then they're all hot. So that just kind of reels me in. Um, <laughs> the really? that. That's the, surprising. The, the stalker, <laughs> no. the stalker handbook isn't usually like, "Hey, what's your address?" <laughs> no, not at all. It's very uh, well, starts they, off real subtle. Lad. They can't real get away subtle. with it. I think if you're really ugly or like off-putting, you can't get away with it because somebody's just like, yeah. oh, "Get away from me." Even the ugly people, they're like, "Hey, Shoni, my stalker, get the fuck out of here!" <laughs> it's your mailman. Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, oh, that guy uh, comes here every day. <laughs> your doctor comes in. Hi, Justin. Shoney. I'm your brother. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I don't know. There's been a bunch of weird instances, but um, I do. I've been working for like the last ten years super hard, but I actually just got a new residency at Area 51. I'm gonna be the official DJ. Oh yeah, yeah. Getting high. So you know what it is. You already know what it is. You know what it is. Me and Ke- Keanu Reeves, baby. <laughs> How'd you book that it. gig? The government. I know people. The government. The government called me. Government <laughs> owes me a couple favors. You know what I mean. <laughs> And you know the government always pays well on those contracts, so. When's the last time you guys saw a meme take off like this? The whole Area 51 shit. Couldn't even tell you. Um, it, it's been it's been a couple of years since one man, like I'm that trying, really I'm trying went. to think, yeah. That, that every that, like, other meme, like everyone's attached other memes to it. Like yeah. incorporated this. It's fucking mind-blowing. It's, it's, a, been it's while, amazing. For sure. Yeah, I'm trying to, I can't think of one that really... No. I haven't seen one where most all of them are as funny as the ones I've I'm, seen. I'm like really concerned people They're are going to show up. <laughs> yeah. I, I, well, I... I I am afraid that people are going to actually go for it. Yeah. I'm not afraid. Oh, yeah. I want to see the video. It will be great right, for the it. memes. We'll be yeah, out you know, there just like you know. What didn't, you know what surprised me though? There were no fucking Will Smith Independence Day ones that I saw. Oh, they were a bunch. Were of they? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're not deep enough, bro. You're not deep enough. Apparently, you need to get right, deeper. Right, right. Fucking dark web. You know, yeah. the dark web. Homie. <laughs> you need to get way deeper. Get in there real deep, like there was one. I mean, there was one like him holding the little, uh, the little baby. Remember? From oh, the, the gross men fucking men in black, yeah, yeah. Men in black. baby. And he's yeah. like, uh, what? Oh, what was it? It was like nine months after uh, we invade. Oh you know? yeah. <laughs> uh, my favorite one was the Neil deGrasse Tyson one, where it's like. Uh, where he's like, oh, like Neil deGrasse Tyson defending his uh, alien wife in seed. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that's been a good meme. I really like that one. I really like that one. You guys do anything for pride? Uh, no. Yeah, no. I'm I'm over pride. I'm over all this shit. I'm over OTL for sure. Oh, we're fuck never OTL. going there. Yeah, that's a lie. We'll be there next year. <laughs> <laughs> but I I don't like any of these big drinking events. I don't. I'm really not a big fan of them. I feel like they're boring. Well, pride has turned into like Cinco de Mayo. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah or like Cinco de Mayo, like mixed with Halloween right now. Like I've seen. <laughs> Do you see it? Yeah, People yeah, dressing yeah, up. Yeah. So I got all these like straight yeah. friends that work at this bar in PB, and they all show up like. Their gay alter ego right. on Pride, and it's like I get it, but it's it's getting to a point where we're like appropriating their culture, kind of. If that yeah. makes sense, yeah, right? Yeah, like, yeah. like you know, all the whole uh, LGBT community is like wanting to be accepted, and it's like congratulations, you're accepted. Well, yeah, now it, we're all gonna it, fucking yeah. act fools. On it used your- to be edgy to go to fucking Pride. Now it's like it, it's like remember back in the day when like wearing the fucking earrings was to like piss off the squares. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. The square. The yeah, square. I know, you know what I'm just, talking yeah, about? Like, I just haven't heard. What are you, my yeah. dad's best friend? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just saying that's like what it was back in the day. It's like you wore earrings to like show that you were edgy, like you yeah. know, whatever. I'm not a square, yeah. bro. And then everybody start. And then everybody started wearing earrings. 
Yeah. And so it's kind of like that. It's like back- Wait, what kind of earrings? Which is like chick hoop, earrings? Or like hoop or fucking, you know, yeah. diamond the, the fucking Barry Bonds yeah, the cross. Barry Bonds, yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. I okay. should rock yeah. the Barry Bonds cross right now. You can now. fucking yeah, pull yeah, it yeah. off. Yeah. Fuck yeah, I could. That was a pretty cool fuck. I, I still Hell cool until yeah. this day. It you, was, know what? You, know what? you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. <laughs> no, no, no. My shit's you still don't pierced. do it. My shit is still pierced. Um, <laughs> is it really? Yeah, I think so. You think so? We can test that out right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything sharp, let's go. <laughs> it, um, it does last forever, though. Yeah, I mean, you just really had to poke it through. Yeah. yeah. I've never had my ears pierced. No. Bradley, what about you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's still wearing his puka yeah. shells. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> he's still punk rock as fuck. Come on. <laughs> Rally's. Life sucks. <laughs> I know. I was just thinking of that song when you were talking about earrings. And this shit. guy drove an Xterra like two fucking weeks ago. Yeah. I had stretched ears. I had the whole. I had the fucking lip ring. I had everything. Hell you had yeah. stretched ears? Not the significantly. Gauges? I had like eight. Can you tell or no? No. I mean, you can still see that I have holes in my in Ooh, my earlobes. So punk rock. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I like the lip ring though. I do miss the lip ring. That was fun. Oh man, did you really? The, did you, have yeah. the, you have the full on ring, huh? Yeah. Oh my god! I mean, guys got to go ring though. You can't go like stud. I did too. like the Maryland. The- yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> I did the double the uh, the snake bite. Oh really? Two did studs, really? two black studs. Yeah, right yeah. when I got out of the Navy, two thousand six. Hey yo, boo in the blue dress, like, fucking some pride. Fucking, like, some really fucking like hair, me- not hair metal. What is it like emo? That screamo shit. Screamo, oh yeah. god, I was terrible. I can never terrible. get into that stuff. It was bad. Oh, I did. The late the late nineties, early two thousands, punk rock was parting the awful. hair, parting yeah. the hair over. Cutting myself, Jesus Christ! Good <laughs> times, good times. That's that's the life. Eyeliner, guy yeah. liner. That's, yeah, that's part of the life. You know, taking it up the ass. <laughs> Shit, man, what the fuck? Well, what? Oh, yeah. huh. So uh, you put out the questions to uh, your audience. Oh Jesus! Let's uh, let's go through a few of them. I'm sure there's some there's gems some. in there. There's oh, be. there are. Do you guys want to go over all of them? Just fucking balls out, or do you want me to censor them? Just go quick one two what punch. Did we, we censor nothing. Yeah. yeah Woo. Okay. It's like show me your dick immediately. Oh, by the last show we did, uh, I guess it'll be like a couple days ago. You know, yeah, yeah. This podcast, yeah. but uh, the last show we did, there were like some of the questions were like, "Would you fuck Scoop? Would you fuck Brown?" I'm like, all right, guys, like Jesus, Christ. Chill out, it's even yeah. too easy. It's like, yeah, of course I. Hey would. man, at least like, our oh, fan, okay. at least our fans are looking out for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're I, like, hey man, I just want to include they're, you guys. Yeah. They're asking the tough questions. Yeah, one exactly. of them was like, which one of the taste gentlemen would you fuck first? Implying you'd fuck all of them, and it was like, oh, that's pretty good, actually. right? That's fair. Anyway, anyway. All right, I'm gonna start with. We only have like ten. It's not bad. Some were pretty good. Some were funny. Some were stupid. But shout out to everyone that came through and, you know, asked some questions. I love you guys. I love you. <laughs> what lengths have you gone to catch bitches cheating on you? Never. Never. Nobody yeah. cheats on you, Alex? Uh, I've just never gone through any lengths to figure it out. Yeah. Or not. Yeah. Amen. I, I think if you're if you're going through that, yeah. if you're going, it's you're over. Going through that, you're going through yeah. some other shit. To whomever <laughs> asked that question, if you're going to that point, it's yeah. over. Just end it. <laughs> I agree. I don't think I've ever put like, the relationship out yeah. of its misery. Snooped around. I just no. don't like because you know what you're gonna find, so you just just quit. Well, it's we've talked about this before. If you think you're gonna find something, you're gonna fucking find it. You will find it. Like you might find something on her phone that doesn't indicate she's cheating, but, but in you, your head in your you're head, expecting yeah. it, so it will be her cheating. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's just how it is. In your head, in your head, like the guy at her office yeah. trying to like get coffee in the morning is fucking a hundred percent. Yeah, you'll just make it into what something that it's not. Good question, good answer. Um, <laughs> next question, I'll just take this one. Uh, are you gay? You seem like it. <laughs> Which I want to talk to this person. Be Pride, like, yeah. Why do I? Why do I seem like it? I mean, yeah, that's a right? y- That's a lot. That's an assumption. I'm curious. You know, like what you I'm know. Curious. You know, it's probably a guy though. Usually, oh, of course, who's yeah. trying to fuck? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Next question. Um, what do the guys think about your 1,000 likes per post strategy? I was oh, actually yeah. going to ask you yeah. guys this. I've kind of like backed Gay! off of it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it works, it yeah. works. I don't know. And like, it seems like it works. You can't hate on any strategy. Um, Yeah. I mean, I mean, there's no right answer. I yeah. Mean, yeah, you know, no, yeah. It, it, it might work. I've been kind of just like le- leaning off of it. So yeah. if you guys don't know, like I started this whole, I, my story's on fire. There's a fucking 5 million people view my stories just because all the memes. But then no one goes <laughs> my actual fucking post on my page. Yeah. And I get it. I understand totally why, but I'm trying to level it out a little bit. You, I told you about this, Alex. And um, some people don't like it. They're like, what the fuck are you trying to make me like your post on your page? And I'm like, well, just fucking go over there. It takes you two seconds. Wait, the thing is, help me out and I will provide you with some shit. Thank you. So then what I started doing was I stopped posting memes on my story and told people as soon as this post on my page gets to a thousand likes, then I'll start posting my memes again. I just a trade. Let's let's fucking I think do it's it. Fair. 
I, I think it's fair too. It hap it, it it works. It takes time, but you get a bunch of people complaining, and it's like, dude, my story gets so many fucking views. I have forty eight thousand followers, yeah. and a thousand of you can't fucking hit the like button. Hit the like. Hit the like. Hit the like, baby. So, think, some people are like, yeah, I think it works. Yeah, it's yeah, good. Yeah, it's you know, fun. I just I'm kind of worked up. You know what I mean? All right, make with the questions. <laughs> We'll get to your question. Don't yeah, worry, right. Alex. Uh, which one of you has the highest body count, and how many is it? Um, I don't know. I think Bradley's the only one that's ever counted his fucking body count at this point. Yeah, yeah. I know within probably three to five. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Hundred. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow it'll be You guys be give me way 10. too much fucking credit. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Why do bitches always hide their sponsor on their vacations? That's obvious. Yeah, that's obvious. Yeah, yeah. nobody wants to see that fucking big ass beer get. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you can't get another sponsor if they know you have a sponsor. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, it's true. And it just looks good. No sponsor. Yeah, like, damn, yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. Fucking Cheryl from Oxford is out in Miami this weekend <laughs> I'm not, I'm, by herself. <laughs> I'm not showing my sponsor. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's a good strategy. I mean, yeah, it works. Uh, next question. How did you break into the DJ game? I just fucking worked my ass off, and I'm not a douche. Boom. Wait. I take that back. Yeah, I was yeah. a douche for a very he long time. He just works his ass off. <laughs> I just work my ass off. Just work your ass off. Um, all right. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Um, fight one, kill one, and fuck one. Marry one. Uh, the taste is gentleman. That's... Isn't that one extra? No, that, for no Dom, that's yeah. four. Okay, Dom's that's four. Right. Uh, I didn't even think about this. So this is a question for me. So I have to fight someone in Taste of Gentleman. I would fight Alex for sure. <laughs> right, um, kill somebody. I, I would have to kill Scoop because C- Scoop could kill yeah. fucking kill me first. And then it would be fuck or marry Bradley or Dom. <laughs> Damn it. How did it come down to this? It you made down. it come down I to would that. Ma- I would marry Dom and fuck Bradley for sure. Oh, but man. Sick. He's just... <laughs> you know, Bradley Bradley's... likes it too, so... <laughs> why, can't, why can't I be the one getting married? I, I gotta be the one to get fucked. <laughs> You're too salty. I couldn't hang out man, with I you got being married, easy. bro. Yeah. I got We'd have easy. a nice little fuck fest. Fuck you know what I'm saying? That's true. One night at the bar going to blows, I'm going home. <laughs> so then I would true. marry Dom. Which is cool because he's riding around. But rims. Dom's the perfect yeah. partner. Like he'll make you laugh the rest of your life. Yeah. So I, I think that'd be cool. I, I, I talked to Dom today. And he's like, "Yeah, I'm not going to be on today, but you know, we would have a good time." I love Dom. He always yeah, laughs at my shit. Everyone loves Dom. That's pretty romantic. All right. yeah. I like it. I'd kiss him on his big lips. Um, Racist. Can you get? <laughs> can you get Bradley to talk about his proposal? I think we'll do that on my podcast. Yeah. It, it's not really that exciting. I don't whomever asked that. Maybe I think they're maybe envisioning something that's more uh, thrilling it. than it actually was. Life but, sucks. I, I know. know. <laughs> we'll do that on my podcast. By the way, can I drop my podcast real quick? Of course. So, uh, shit, I haven't been on this fucking Taste of the Gentleman podcast for a minute now. Yeah, so I got I, my own uh, podcast now. Oh, my bad. Sorry, Alex. <laughs> shit. <laughs> commercial break. That's Sa- shameless plug and he's fucking out of here. Tuck your belly in, homie. <laughs> shit, dude. You're making me nervous over here. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so thanks for having me on the uh, podcast I'm going to go to. Um, yeah, my uh, uh, past and present. Me and Bradley kind of got the uh, boner, boner bros going on. Boner bros. Boner bros. People, th- people don't know it's past and present. They think it's just boner bros now. So we might have to adjust that. <laughs> they're like, I do a regular episode, and they're like, wait, what? Where's Bradley? <laughs> Where's the boner bros? Yeah, so anyways, we'll put the link in the uh, description. Um, so thanks for tuning in, but that's my podcast. Um, how long did you last in Buds? Um, I lasted like three months when I was out there. Not a very long time. Um, bum, 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 bum. Prostate, <laughs> that. prostate <laughs> massager, friend or foe? I should probably catch up. Did, fucking... did you guys both do it? You looked at no, him. No, I don't like, know yeah, why he just we... looked at me. I felt that look. Yeah. Bradley, Bradley held it for me. It was like a sensual. Like, no, oh. I borrowed it after he used it. <laughs> it reminds me of my podcast when we were talking about it. Because um, right when I started fucking past and present, that's when I started getting into like butt play. <laughs> yeah, it's true. So it's then true. everyone thought that like my podcast was all about just. According, ass. well, if Dom were here, he'd he'd agree with me that you because of that you don't get a hood pass. Yeah, that's why sure. I lost my hood pass. Yeah, he lost because I'm an ass play yeah, you got robbed yeah. The hood really yeah i had it for like a half a second and then they're like revoked Re- so dom revoked. said that i don't have a hood pass anymore no, no dom the would hood say says dom, you don't if dom were here he oh, would say you say? don't have a hood pass the hood the hood says you don't have a hood pass yeah. dom doesn't Fuck make that. the rules he just you can't have them. you can't have a hood pass and be an ass play dude no. you can't stupid i've Not learned this the, the stupidest rule ever i've learned this over the years the so i tried out the uh prostate massager and it was legit how deep does it go Three and a half inches. That's not bad. Yeah. Do you sit on it? 
Be jam it in there. He's picturing you like. Ugh. Do I sit on it? <laughs> Boop. I back up and I run backwards and jump on it with legs. He suction cups it to are the we, wall. Are we done promoting Shoney's podcast? I strap it on my dog and let him fuck me. What do you want me to say? No. <laughs> um, it's three inches. It fucking just goes up your butt and then it ties around your balls. It's the best thing ever. If you guys haven't had your fucking prostate like stimulated, with, stimulated, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> They're fucking making fun of it. I, dude, I get made fun of for I'm, my I'm, affinity I'm, I'm, for I'm ass play all the time. I, I don't like ass play ads all. Because no Why one can not? find your asshole. Oh, <laughs> oh sick burn. Shit. Oh, wait, fuck. what's her face said that she could barely find your butthole? Yeah, it was pretty hairy. Yeah, what, what, trim that shit up, man. What, what else you got? What else all right, you got? um. Let's see. Can you take photos of your tattoo sleeves? Ah, oh, terrible. Stop. Weird. Um, you can just look DJ Shoney online, right? I yeah. Mean, I feel like on the internet. It's on your HD. internet. It's all HD. It'll come. 4K. Um, ask the TTG guys to do another uh, Why Do Bitches episode. Maybe yeah, we we'll do, do that next yeah, time. It's been we a do. while, yeah. It's been a minute. Is the yeah. last one we did with me? We, probably. Probably, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Jesus. What was that, like seventy episode 77? <laughs> I thought you were going to say back in 78. <laughs> back in 70. Right after Nam. Back when, <laughs> back when squares weren't wearing earrings. Yeah. <laughs> squares. Uh, why do bitches think that leading multiple guys is an acceptable behavior? That way, leading, like, leading I don't, on I don't think, leading I don't on think they're doing it they're, they're doing the same shit we're doing not with the chicks you hang out with homie okay. Ooh, there's chicks shit. out there there's chicks out there that are leading on multiple guys like leading sure. them on or just not committing to them well depends on what guy you are if you're 5 foot 2 and you're going into a bagel boss <laughs> this is is. Probably, these are probably the type of guys that are like she's leading me on because she won't fuck me <laughs> You, yeah, that's she, so. she yeah. talked to me and yeah. she won't fuck me, so she's leading me on, stupid bitch. Ten out of ten, not leading you on. Someone being yeah. nice, no, like, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, you're such a good friend. Yeah. please go yeah. away. Yeah. The waitress at La Puerta, she leads yeah. me on every time the she takes my order. The Hooters yeah. fucking waitress, <laughs> the strippers that fucking uh, at, uh, dude. When I, was, when I was a kid, I ever a kid, twenty one or whatever, but I really <laughs> did think that the when the the girl behind the bar was being nice like that, I was like, oh, she oh for fuck. sure. Yeah, because when you're 21, your ego is the size of a fucking. Also, you don't know any My better, dick. Yeah. <laughs> well, so it's very it's a, small. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you get those little feelings. Like it's just it, it's all fun and games, and you meet that one bartender that's like kind of your style. You're like, damn, she's cute, and then she's extra nice to yeah. you, trying to get that tip, and you're just like, oh, damn. Because normally, if someone's that nice to you, you're they're in the street. You yeah, know, yeah. If you're like talking to some girl, and she's like. Oh my god, what do you do for a living? <laughs> you like, don't pay attention to it because yeah. you're like, oh, you're fucking. Can you do that impression every show from this point forth? That was the White Holy Valley shit. girl. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Let me fuck it. Shoney. I got one last one. This one's That's a shout perfect. out to Alex. Since Alex was so. What was <laughs> he was playing the flute. <laughs> 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 just want to be do every question. All right, all right. Uh, please do another. Can you replace Alex so we can have the real TTG that we deserve? <laughs> yes. Shoney's coming on next. Damn. 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 We're gonna have to get a petition on fucking yeah. YouTube about yeah. this. A change.org. Yeah. Oh my god. 100,000 sign ups. Yeah, White House. Wait, hold on. 100,000 sign ups, and then I could take your spot? Yeah. If if we get 100,000 on whitehouse.gov, <laughs> they have to that's respond. It's a go- to government, it. government mandated that's, that's response. The, that, that's, that's how like, it works. I, I don't think they have to, but the they policy is. They're supposed to respond. Yeah. But their policies, they do respond to. So uh, Trump could. Get Alex out of here and put yeah. me in. Yeah. With the Secret Service comes in build front the wall. roll, build the wall around I mean, Alex. I, I still, want them to hold me and and replace Alex and just put me in there. Just my legs. I still crossed. feel like there's a lot of people who don't know that the three of us were the original fucking yeah. starters of the taste. Oh, we gentlemen. didn't fucking. We barely even could record it. We were so. But drunk. I'm just saying, yeah. like the, this. This was the original threesome right yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. Show anyone in, show anyone in no part of it. <laughs> well, you guys tried to make me do what Dom was doing. Fucking hey, yeah, just get on the computer. And I was way in the corner. I was like, fuck this shit. No, we tried to get you engaged, and you just didn't want to get engaged. No bullshit, you guys didn't. <laughs> you guys made me want to. I had to show up my laptop every time and record. I'm like, what the fuck is this, dude? Damn, damn, it was. Damn. I didn't know it was that deep. It was a rough life, man. It was a rough. I life. didn't try to make you do shit. You I said, did, I just, I'm looking at Ziggy. <laughs> you said I want to focus on my DJing, and I was like, okay. <laughs> Fucking and then we talked to here. this guy, and we're like, "Hey, you want to?" Yeah, fucking Scoop was getting out of the military. We're like, "Perfect, let's get this guy in here." <laughs> he's like, he's, he's a, a funny laptop. motherfucker. Yeah. I just saw myself just showing up with all my equipment every time and taking care of it, which is kind of funny because that's all I do now.